So we're all set up to start doing the uh, fly traps. We've got some indoor ones already up, which you'll have seen with the bananas in. Um, you probably can't see the flies flying around at the moment. Um, we've just picked up an old flower pot and we've just, um, doesn't matter it's broken, just drilled a hole in the top, popped a clip on it, popped it onto a stick and we're going to go and bash that into the ground in the stream uh, where you've seen me walking around. We've got the bucket that comes with the glue that's already got a hole and some string attached and we're also going to be using some old flower pots um, which obviously being flower pots already have holes in the bottom so we can just attach some string to those and go and hang them up. Um, we've only got some small ones um, so we'll need to go shopping if the small ones are too small just for some cheapy buckets. Um, we've got some old supplement pots which we can also try um, although they have got some writing on the top, but I have got one up which I've been trying um, just above the water trough that's been catching a couple of flies over the last couple of days, although it's not been very hot, so um, um, probably now the heat's built up, we'll probably catch some more off that one. So we'll just do this one um, quickly um, so that you get an idea of the glue. As you can see I've been using it already in the indoor ones and that one already. But now the sun is out we can do the outdoor ones. Um, so there's a, obviously a lot of concerns about wildlife etc. Um, if you go onto the website um, for the City Trap Blue, um, it does deal with all your concerns um, and there's certain heights and um, if you've got particular you know, uh, wildlife around you to protect, there's certain heights you can put it at uh, and also there's some cages you can put around. Um, so literally just quite gloopy. It does take a bit of effort to get it on. Again, I've got a summary on the website, on my, sorry, on my website. There's also a summary on the Equine Innovations website as to how many of these you put where depending on your fly population etc. Um, so one of these small tubs should, should last you all summer um, on several buckets. Not very good on my steady hands. So we'll just complete this. So we've gone all the way round. Um, the glue is fairly heavy duty, so on a flimsy bucket, it is taking me a fair amount of strength to um, get it spread round. Um, it will drop down a little bit in the heat and catch in the edges of the bucket so that's one bucket done and um, lots of glue left to continue with the rest of the buckets which we will do later um, leave the top not glued that way you're also protecting the wildlife that would potentially possibly just sit on it um, so that's not gluey at all they can sit on that and fly away the rim at the top's not glued, so about an inch at the top's not glued, again, just in case they stand on it, but they shouldn't go anywhere near the bucket, they're not attracted to it. Um, it's got um, the special effects that only really attract biting insects. So there is one glue trap. We aren't hanging this one, as you can see we're doing it on a stick, 
So we'll go and put it in situ and show you later. Okay, there we are. One flight trap just on the corner of the field. Um, you probably can't see all the midges flying around in the video, but they are um, there. Or oh, actually, if you can look closely, you probably can see some flying midges, um, little dots going across the screen. So there's our stream. Um, oh, there we are. So there's our stream. There's bucket number one. And as you can see, um, it's very close to where I exercise the horses in this corner. This is my pole corner. Um, so I'm hoping I get less bitten while I'm exercising. Okay, so we've come over to the corner of the stream where I've got the low-lying pot on the stick. Um, and again, a bit like the one in the corner, we seem to have got quite a lot of um, forage on it. Um, quite a lot of tree. Um, but a fair amount of flies on this one and nothing else but flies so no other wildlife have been disturbed or killed in the process just a lot of flies and a lot of tree so we'll leave this one up now we've checked it um, I have bees foraging around in just climb through the fence. I have bees foraging around in that pile of sticks quite a lot um, and I did sit here for a good 20 minutes the other day just watching the bee fly around my little solitary one that was in there and he went nowhere near the glue he was quite happy and buzzed off again um, and we've got I say we've got the stream down there and what I was hoping is um, the trap will hopefully give me a little bit of relief while I'm using my poles in this corner um, although um, at the moment because of the stream the biting midges are all over me um, I think I am still fighting a bit of a losing battle with the midges um, but you know we'll see how we go we can only but try uh, but so far we've caught a fair amount of flies on two of them um, just tree foliage on one of them and we will go and check the greenhouse in a bit.